Oh boys, it's me, Cool Yoshi, and welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition for Nintendo Switch. In the last episode, we did some crazy stuff here and also got other items done and just a whole lot of craziness. But now we've found our way through a lot of stuff. I need to figure out that there is some problems that we have to deal with. But anyway, we're continuing on the Great Sea map, and now we have to win the KO competition while playing with Tetra. But again, these are pretty easy to win. These are what I'm once again just gonna use Master Sword Link, and this will be a cakewalk. I do have to kill the Elite Captains fairly quick, though, because these Captains do uh, get a lot of KOs very, very quickly. Because they are uh, stronger in this than they are in regular stuff. I'm gonna try and do this while I uh, spam. To make it uh, efficient. Okay, good. Well, I want this guy dead first, if I can. Be okay, good. Now we have to take out the giant boss. Some more reinforcements. Okay, good. All those guys are gone. I do need quite a bit of dark nuts. I will definitely try to kill them particularly quick if I can. The one reason why I did not do this, by the way, in the last episode is because one needs to take really long, and I was. He on, uh early all the time, so I didn't want to potentially risk messing up. Okay, I'm gonna just magic right now. This one, I feel like I actually kind of want to use magic. This one, this time, though, it's more or less for the purposes of probably getting jobs. And I should also try and get magic as I go around to get more items. Oh my gosh, I'm so fast, I can't uh, do the combo I want. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, Dark Knight has reappeared. Gotta kill it. Okay, got rid of him. Oh, why did that? It was a good early magic, I guess. I nearly got it multiple times. I'm surprised I'm not getting it now. There he is. He's stuck for some reason. If we have that, I'll make this part a bit easier. Alright. 
that's what I wanted to take up. Excuse me. Trying to get these bars can be kind of difficult sometimes. Not gonna lie. That was a quick dodge. Unfortunately, this doesn't give me as much experience as it could, but it's mostly just because it's a late game mission. It's not a late game mission, so it's not going to really be that effective. Okay, now they're starting at all out attack, so they're coming to me. Meanwhile, this darkness. I have fear and I want to stop him. Okay, now's where I want to stop using magic so I don't get it to accidentally trigger at the end. I'm still killing the captains, I'm just not killing them. Whoa! I've never used the power-up boomerang before, and that's actually kind of crazy. It, it acts just like it does in, like, Twilight Princess, where it goes between multiple targets at once. Nope. That was a quick dodge again. Okay, that one was way too quick for me to dodge, unfortunately. That is already almost... The time is almost done anyway, though. Oh, jeez. Don't you go in ham on that, uh, Dark Nut right there. Okay, they're all dead. I definitely do need the Dark Nut's materials a lot, particularly their silvers for Lana. So it's a good thing that I'm trying to get a lot of them. All right, simple enough. 4,000 kills to their crappy 200 this time. We also used more area of effect abilities this time to try and get more kills early on. Okay. Takes care of that. At some point, I do want to use the one of these to try and uh, level up Link to the max at some point. If I'm delayed on purpose, so I can use him on some other levels and get some experience for him and still do the map kind of quickly. Now we need to remove this great sea world here using the cannon. Destroy the army with boosted morale. Nothing in the actual map, but we have to use Mida and is also true solo, which is not terrible anymore, because now we have this thing right here, the Twilight Sackle. Unfortunately, it is still basic, but I'll definitely do more work than the Curse Sackles will. I'm not going to actually look at this, because... Now that I've played a lot of these maps, I know more or less what to do. It's more like I just need to remember that I have to get a thousand KOs at some point during the map. Oh, do not want to do that right off the bat. I'm trying to get here. I think if I want to really save these guys, like, like the actual captains. I should just fight wherever the Hylian captains are first and completely ignore the keeps until later. If I want to have any chance of saving them. As well as destroy the boosted characters sooner. I feel like that would just work better. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go straight for the characters that are already attacking my forces. And try and save as many as I can. 
I doubt I'll be able to save all of them, but I will try to kill all the elite captains next to any of my blue characters. That is when I'm gonna focus on. Whereas before I was focusing on keeps, this one is more or less. So yeah. Again, just like before, it's almost impossible to get them defeated. The one thing that's bad about Mina is her special has so much range that it basically becomes one of the worst specials in the game simply because uh, you have to be quite far away from it to work. Okay, Item Thief is the most annoying thing because no matter what you do, Item Thief can steal stuff. And unlike other stuff, whereas magic can usually only be stolen once, Okay, they're actually dying a lot slower, like, only after we defeated two forces, only now have they started dying, so... Not only that, but we've also defeated one of their own captains. And we just defeated another. Again, it's impossible to save all of them, but we may as well try and save as many as we can to... All right, now we take this. Now, since we have range, we're gonna try and take this from the back. Okay, it's not. That only did a little bit of damage, unfortunately. I think they're actually all outside. Okay, so at taking keeps from outside their thing doesn't always work the ass. And yes, I don't care about these barriers at all. Early on, they're not that bad at all. You can easily just ignore them altogether. Probably should have gone back there. Okay, we do still have some captains, I think. Or there might be now. Okay, I hear one, so there is one up there that is still alive. Okay, this one I could say is probably going a lot better. I'll go even better. In case you're wondering why I skipped this, I did check this. There is literally no treasures on this map, so all it is is just killing the elite enemies, stopping the morale rising, and then just getting the A rank, and that is it. There's literally nothing else. Also, now that we've taken out the captains raising the morale, we do not even have to deal with them. And now they're all going to me again, which makes it a lot easier, because then I could just take them all out at once. And a small faction of is also advancing towards our commander, who is in the bottom right corner and already getting attacked. Didn't seem like we did much, but the, she is already getting attacked. Okay, well, now we don't have to deal with that. That is right next to where we are, so we'll at least attempt to save him. Who's he having trouble with? Supposedly nothing. Quite a... It's just further proves how dumb the having captains really are. I know there are other troops that you can save that are a bit, at least decently good at fighting. The captains don't really have much when it turns comes to just strapped offense, which I guess makes sense why they need saving literally all the time. Should have done this. Excuse me, I'm trying to get this fiend real quick. Yeah, there are some elite characters here. We need to take out these big pose real quick. This is not our base, apparently. Which means we do not have one. Okay. You know, in my true form, I'd be even more today. I feel like that is 
about right, and uh, even she knows her. Oh, it's the original. Uh, it's just oh, she's just so weak in this original form, which just further proves why Benda is more broken, I guess. <laughs> okay, well anyway. Oh, that's actually right where I'm going. That will be fine. I'm gonna use this to freeze time. So they don't get a chance to attack him. I'll save him. We do have... There is a reward, by the way. An individual reward for saving... Uh, I guess badge, rather. For saving at least a hundred of your allies, which is just anybody. It doesn't have to just be Hylian captains, but those are just one of few narrators that need saving. Oh. I forget, what does this even do? I feel like that all this does is add darkness element to her. Mm, tears. I'm s even right now, I'm still trying to learn what, uh, our stuff. I just realized she now is a circle and she has the twilight shackle this is green so again it's still only a thousand KOs that we need and Wii U there's actually more you have to get all right easy enough very quick mission didn't have to worry about anything, so didn't bother checking my guide, because it didn't need to for that one, apparently. Alright, I did notice that you had quite a bit of these. Okay, stars can stay for now. That one can stay. This this can go away. 5,000 skill probably should... S oh, wait. It's on a curse shackle. I'm probably gonna get one later, so that can go away. Any skill that's on a shackle that can go simply because no point in using the level one weapon at all. Darn it! Only uh, stars. She does not have a slots weapon yet. That's fine. Okay, you have a slots weapon. As well as that's another slot. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. So that's again. And stars, okay, there's there's the double. When we get is level two up and we can use Link to get some certain stuff going. Alright. Oh, this is uh one of Link's level two weapons. We have an item for this as well. Alright, that's unlocked. This is Link's level 2 Fire Rod. Ooh, this is really important. Trusting your troops' resilience limited to just regular Link. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Uh, these are both uh, fairy items we have to get. Oh, also, this is the important fairy I was going for. So, part of this guide is to actually get this fairy, because as soon as we get this fairy, we're gonna delete one of our other stuff, at which point we'll have, I believe, supposedly two fire fairies. So I specifically want to keep this because, well, I want to be able to do stuff. And I'm going to use you and Lana again. I'm sorry to use Lana more often simply because she has really good moves and really good specials, particularly with her first weapon right now. So she's actually useful and could be used on certain parts. Beyond that, I don't really think I need any of them this time. This one is trust in your troops' resilience, but all that really translates to is capture the barrier keeps. Oh, there's a pot I am right here. Yeah, okay, there's our food. That was very fast. Literally, we spawn right next to where it is. I kill enough troops, I can make this kind of a speedrun for A rank, which 
can definitely work. If I'm doing that, I should probably uh, try and use this a lot, because that is faster than... Okay. Yeah, it takes some damage on purpose slightly. Is he right there? Okay. Yoink's really right next to him, so I can just do that to make it easier. And then gate this to get up to full. Obviously, the best way to get to 1,000 KOs fast is to just kill the troops that you want right now. Alright, that's a good amount. Let's take this guy out just cause. Easier. And then we need, uh. Hmm. Don't feel like I should have gone for those guys, but oh well. Okay, we're gonna use Lana now. Oh, she's gonna get attacked really hard. Now we have fortifier captains as well. Okay, now we need to take out the other barrier, though. That was a lot. Okay, now we need fairy fountain, which is simple enough. I'll trigger this first, though, just so we can uh, get for the mission right now and have our allied keep ready. And I actually, actually, one thing I could do is send Link right there. And he'll be there by the time that I get done with both of these keeps. Also, I just realized they don't even need to take out that one keep. It's literally just pots in all of them. Well, that makes it easier, because I could just walk in, grab it, and then leave immediately. But I do still need some troops, so I will, uh... First... Uh, drop a special right here to try and kill some, and then I'll kill some more as Link, and then I, it should be enough. Alright. Now we just have to kill the troops in front of here. I'll enjoy killing you. Yeah. I'm gonna be the one that enjoys killing you, actually, because there's no- You're going to die this time. I did this so weirdly, it didn't even trigger his am I cut cutscene at all until I got closer to him. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna completely interrupt your beam. What aim, if you don't mind, Wizard? All right, that was very quick. And we got all the stuff we need. Now, uh, the fairy thing does mention renaming stuff. And I will be doing that just to make sure I remember which fairy is I should keep and which one I shouldn't. If for some reason I forget, then I'll just redo it again. Okay, so... Let's see here. I do not want to let go of any fire fairy because I still want to be able to use them. So anyways, we got this prism lod and more importantly got the fire fairy we were looking for. Actually, hmm, no, yeah, no, I will do a different one from the same spot. So, what do we have? Buckler, that's new. Why do I have a level 14, Leia? Okay, I'm gonna get rid of... I have two darks. Let's just get rid of one of the darks. Oh, wait, I forgot to change. Whoops. Yeah, whatever. I have a better way of doing that. Uh, 
I actually kind of want to show the naming thing. Okay, we have to go down here at some point. Before I do anything else, I should probably make sure that I know where I'm going. Alright. There we go. Let's just go to my ferry right now. Because I did not want to do that. Because now I'll be really confused as to which ferry is right. Yeah. Dang it. Uh, well, I don't want to waste too much time, so... You'll get to see something very interesting. I will be actually redoing a couple of missions off camera to get that, because... I mentioned I wanted to, like, rename him, but then I completely forgot to do it for some reason, though... It might not even work, honestly. Let's be honest. Honestly, it's not required. It's just that I've, I'm kind of annoyed. Right. Right. Okay. In case you're wondering, yes, I screwed up. I wanted to name my fairy something different, and I completely forgot. I am very annoyed at myself right now, because I'm the first half to do another mission to release one of the fairies literally released the fairy I just got which could be hard because if I uh, release the wrong one then it's gonna get even more annoying Go I need a lot of materials from so I'll definitely kill him oh that was way too early for that special before we have to deal with that we have this mission to deal with instead and I'd rather not waste too much time so for no reason or another I think I'm gonna be right back but not immediately I'm gonna just use basic attacks to take you out just to make sure we get our materials and then we'll spin to win to get rid of the rest there we go. Nice and easy again. Alright. We face Tetra quite a bit on this map already now that we are later on into the map itself. Oh, I need to charge my iPad. That's what I use, by the way, to look at my guide. This is... I don't have room to look at on the actual thing that I... Uh, on the computer PC, because I don't have an extra screen to do that, unfortunately. Or at least enough screens for that. So, yeah. It shouldn't actually be that quick, it's just annoying that I have to do this at all. So, I'm gonna be right back for just a minute. And we are back, boys. It actually didn't take that long, though it seems longer from my setup. Alright, so we're gonna select yes here, and yep, you can name it. 
you're probably gonna know what's gonna happen, right? Yep, that's right, folks. Yoshi's coming back. This fairy is now going to be known as Yoshi. And I'm naming him this just so I remember. Just because I want her to be my main fairy. So this is the fairy I mentioned. This is the fairy I'm going to get all the skills on. So she's going to be my main. And then we're going to get rid of the one that I got before, which was you. So you're going to go away. And there we go. See, so yeah, Yoshi is back, and also now that's done, I can finally actually progress on with the map itself. So let's go to this one, which is uh, Impa's level 2 weapon next. So now we're actually going into the stuff. And this one is Defend the Allied Keeps, which means it'll be a Bomb 2 mission by default. It is not limited to a fire weapon, so we're just going to use as big... Aver, and even better, we could just use Young, Young Link and or Link for this. I'm just going to use Link, though. Alright. So we have to get 1,000 KOs while also um, getting a item for Impa in the Glutton's Keep. Oh, and that means it's... Okay, she starts really close to some troops, so we're going to... She cuts really close to a bomb chew as well. Okay, well, looks like we're just gonna kill all the stuff around here first. Oh my gosh, please don't. This is a green, right? Really? It's green, and they're already attacking me. Oh, rip me. So, the reason why I was saying something like that is because currently, right now, Manadla stocks are the worst thing to deal with in the game. If you ever get them attacking your ally base, which is very easy to see with the big little hit icon that's going over the allied base. If at any point they uh, get to the end, yeah, you kind of just get screwed. So we have to kill them first. Okay, so we're going to do that and then quickly tell Impa to go back to Gutten's Keep. At which point I'll then have Link go over to take out the other bomb too so we can just finish off this part of the mission thankfully the first part of this is usually fairly easy it's the second part where it gets a bit more difficult yeah, yeah okay that was very quick so we have to touch your gut and keep as impa and that's it so we just need to get ko's that we don't have a lot Northeast of Dragon Roost in the grass. Okay, so that's up where Impa is. And now we have all the troops coming out. Tons of guys are going towards the banks. We also have Yun Link's force, uh, Linkles or whatever. Oh, and Rogue forces as well. Now, it's actually going to be a little while before they actually uh, recruit them. So, if we just use Impa right now and kill them, I think it will work out anyway. Alright, so we need to get this done first. Right. Yeah, I don't care. Okay, we're gonna take these guys out real quick. <laughs> For some reason, they also took the heat as I have, but beyond that, nothing else, really. Alright. Thankfully, the 1,000 KOs is now going to be really simple, as literally all the troops are going either to this little side or advancing towards the base, and it actually has a really good special. Whoa. I'm gonna try and get a good range on this. Just knock them all back. Why not? Good 
right. Now we sit in here. Okay, they should all be uh, teaming up on the allied base, but we can clear out really fast. But this is a really good strategy to do for if you're trying to get A rank on these maps, because eventually they're just going to all go towards one spot, and we have a clone of ourselves on the battlefield trying to survive. I'm going to kill these guys first. Alright. Now we take out the troops inside our actual base. Should be fine for the most part. Just a bit annoying that they're in here at all. Though it makes it easier because instead of them being spread all over the place, they're all grouped up in one place and can be taken out together. Alright, there we go. We're actually really close to the Gold Skotula ourselves, so we're just going to... Oh, and grab it right now. <laughs> so it's in this grass right here, which is not too far out of the way. And then we're done with this one. There aren't much else to say about the Grade C map, other than it'll get more difficult, but not until we exit this uh, initial area we're in, because. All this area, the area before it was the starting area, and then the area, or this is only green, so it's pretty easy still. And our dark, and our rogue forces are slightly in trouble, though we can more or less handle it. We have not seen Lincoln's animation much, so we'll uh, show this. She's a really iconic character after all in this game. This will be fun. Alright. So it'll be fun for you, unfortunately, Linko. Uh, it is fun for me at the moment. A Sheik was our commander, by the way. Mm. Alright. Another level 2 weapon. This one for Impa. Now, if you do use a different weapon, they do also have their own unique win animations. So that means I'll have to show off those as well. Lana in particular has a really funny winning animation for one of her weapons. Okay. Well, anything zero can go by default. Let's see. Did I get rid of a stars one? I did not. Okay. I'm just going to try and keep at least one stars weapon, one slots weapon already have experience that can go that's a good slot one I'm gonna get rid of it anyway because it's still the level one weapon and I'll be at there we go another Skultua one I'm gonna get this now of course Kill 150 enemies with special attacks. Okay. I need to actually think of who is a good special attacker. I feel like Lana is better at that. So I'm going to actually use Lana first. And then use Master Sword. But yes. <laughs> I'm glad. Okay, so I am glad that you can name fairies. Because <laughs> that makes it so much easier for me. Because after a while, it could get really confusing which fairy is which. So if you name it fairy after, like, your favorite Mario character, for instance, it becomes easier. I can just go straight for this, too. Why to go for the allied base right off the bat, honestly, I find really annoying, but... Not much we can do, really. This one will work better if we split up, so... Yeah. Why do these guys... Again, why do these guys go for the alley base so soon? I feel like this is a bit early for them to do that. Because up until now, they've been... 
uh, mana little stocks that essentially either target you or target random spots with seed attacks instead. That can be ignored. This cannot be ignored because, well, obviously the base is gonna fall if we just do nothing. Of course, before we do that, we'll go ahead and clear the first objective right now. now we got the glitch again with Link. In case you're wondering, yes, he is at full health, but he has a glitch where he'll still have his sword being lost. Apparently, if he takes damage but then gets swapped to at a certain point or something else happens, apparently that counts as him uh, taking damage, which is a bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, now everyone's advancing straight to our commander. Oh boy, that's not fun. We can make it work. We'll just round them up and... Okay, let's see here. It's in... Oh, it's a dead end. Okay, I'm gonna have Link go here for no other reason other than to prepare for the Skulltula. And then I'm gonna do the rest of this part only using Lana. Make sure I have a lot of oops to KO first. Alright, here we go. Nice. Good amount on the first pull. This is the only reason why I picked Alana and not another character. She has one of the widest specials in the game at the moment. So, she's really easy to get the skull to that and I'm doing this just to make sure these guys don't attack me beyond that it's just going here this is a very far out of the way skull to uh and I also have to deal with the fact that our forces are enemies are now coming to our area which is a bit annoying oh yeah see it did show off so Although it didn't seem like anything, it looks like I did just barely lose one heart, and that counts <laughs> for some reason. Well, I don't want our base to fall, so we're gonna deal with that first. This is more or less safety and nothing else, really. Most of this is just gonna be I'm gonna kill all the elite captains I see, and then once they are all gone, it'll be uh, much easier. Good. Okay, now our own troops are coming in to interrupt them, which makes it a bit easier. I'm pretty sure I could have uh, actually made this work, it's just that I'm... I'm never quite too fond on how fast each base falls, and... Sometimes it does fall a lot quicker than others, so... Honestly, it's safer to just kill the captains here. Those I don't necessarily need to kill, but I just did that, because, well, we could do that. It's really quick. And then we're just going to go down here after getting that second Skull Tua. Right. I don't care that I lost health, I'm just doing this instead. Of course, she does her magic. When they do it, our magic, they can't, you can't even attack them at all. It's very annoying. Depending on what character uses it. Some are even longer than others. It's just really annoying. Now, I am going in here because there's a thing we have to remove before we can even continue on the part where we are right now. So that's why... I'm trying to go to the locked away place first. Okay, 
we've got another skull tula, which is nice. We have a wind waker for that head win, and we're gonna use this. Team up and defeat the enemy forces, which means it is actually true solo. I have to use Volga for this mission, but he is pretty Oh. Hmm. He's not actually as leveled as I thought. Um, let's make him 65 and then play it. Just to make it not terrible. As you can see, he still needs a lot of materials. Go with his strongest weapon right now, which is actually this. Alright. This one is team up and defeat the enemy forces. Because I'm going for speed, I'm not going to really care which enemy I defeat. Unless there's also a new one there. I'll just kill whoever's closer to me. Well, I don't want to team up with Lana because that wouldn't make sense. You know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll team up with Linkle this time. Okay, now whoever's in this keep, I'm taking out. These missions are particularly easy because it they only end when your captains fall and they... Captains are not actually that terrible to take out. Oh, wow. Not as close as I thought. Okay, so we're gonna be fighting Impa today. Oh. Quick stun. Oh, it's very quick, by the way. As you can clearly see. Okay, Sheikah actually kind of wanted... So when you do half damage to one of them, they switch allegiance. As... Okay. Okay, now we uh, go for this. Oh wow, we're facing some soldiers as well, okay. I'm gonna take out Lana first. Oh, and there's big boy Goma. Interrupt his attack so I don't take too much damage. Oh my gosh! Goma, do you really have to beat his trolley? He jumped twice in a row. Oh goodness, they both summoned a boss? Okay. Goma almost always opens his eye. The only time he does it is when you're not nearby, and that clearly counts as not being nearby. Well. That's bad. Okay, well, I'm getting rid of Goma just to get him out of my face. Alright, now we need to take out Lana real quick. Excuse me, Lana. Oh, in case you're wondering. What Linkle just did is actually a hidden secret animation. You're not supposed to know about it at all. I believe if you press special attack or strong attack in something, he'll she'll straight up take says HUD. And for some reason, she uh, a attempts to mimic mimic uh particular victory theme we've heard too many times throughout uh, the Legend of Zelda series. And the way she says it is just so funny. And yes, that is literally a hidden secret, and I do not know why I did that. Okay, we're gonna have to use three specials to kill this guy. Oh, wow. Missed that one completely. Okay, there we go. Now we should get Mad Nandala, just barely. No, we might not. Okay, no, we did. Thank goodness. Hey, 
And yes, the dragon move where he turns into a dragon is one of Boga's best moves. Unfortunately, you cannot actually go out of it once you use it, so it is a pretty long animation. But it is really cool to just turn into a dragon and then run into your enemies like that. Alright. Oh, there we go. Well, it's done. You're right. Now on to uh, the next part of this map. Where we actually get the item we want. Okay, this one we have to use uh, another Wind Waker on. Okay. Headwind's gone, now we can move on to uh, defeat foreign enemies. I forgot who I was, that was Tetra, okay. Okay, let's just go for this as quickly as we can. Okay, who are we facing off against? Dark Impa? Okay. as quickly as we can here. So there's a link here. It's uh, a clone of ourselves again. Come on. Darn it, where's troops where you need them? There we go. A bit annoying ending to that, but still pretty fast overall. Alright. And that's the A rank for that. That's what makes these missions so easy, because since there's no real annoying requirements, all you really do is just speedrun the mission as fast as possible, and that makes it super easy. That could be done even faster when you have fairy skills, because then you could just spam fairy magic all over the place. And take it even quicker. We still have quite a few maps to do like that, so it'll definitely be get even quicker once that's done. Alright, so here's our big boy thing that we have to do on this map. This is required to move on. We have to do this to get a thing, otherwise we can't move on. So we have to get this item from this, which is defeat the beast of the forest. I think this might be true cell as well. No, it isn't, but King Daphne's does have the sale of Red Island, so this will be easier. We'll just use this one for him. All right, and then Master Sword Link and Young Link again. Okay. So King Daphne needs to go to the North Square as soon as possible. So we'll probably put him there first. Though, since he's... Yeah, we might be able to use him in whatever this mission is. Oh, it's uh, Squirt the Messengers again. Well, 
for this one, we need to first, uh... And yes, I kind of joked, I'm not gonna just not use him. Since he does start really close to one of these, may as well use him. Okay, I'm gonna command you to go this way. Because this is kind of a hard one to do. Also, we finally have stone blends here. I've been waiting a while for stone bins to appear in the mission. We'll still need a lot more before we can really farm them, but I definitely need a lot of them for farming later. Okay, I'm gonna go for this next. I'm gonna take the keep first. Alright. Okay, that's a convenient boss key location. I know this is the boss key because this is also a final battle level, so yeah, of course, one of these is gonna have the boss key. Alright. Now we escort the second messenger by killing all these dudes around here. Yeah, we did actually use uh, King Death Ace quite a bit. In case you're wondering why I kept on confusing with uh, King Brome, I'm so used to playing Breath of the Wild and I never actually really played much of Wind Waker where King Death Ace comes from that I keep on mistaking him. Uh, we have a clone of ourselves that's in trouble right now. First, I need to capture this keep to get some experience points, and oh, the messenger is stuck! Of course. Okay, this uh, stone blend was the problem, but we took him out now. Now he's moving again. Good. So now we can start counterattacking him again. Alright, what do we actually need? Southeast tree, which is on bottom right. I'm gonna have Link get that. Oh, Link. Our uh, clone is in danger. Jeez, there's so many guys around him. Oh my gosh. And one right here as well. Our base is in danger. Funnily enough, it didn't tell us that yet, but it should do it in a minute. My gosh, I actually did not see this until like the very end, that's a bit annoying, but I guess at least we can clear it out kind of quick. Alright, well we need to clear out a lot of troops here to ensure that our own forces can push back against them. Well, that was the first. Alright, uh, you're gonna go up top. For the north square okay now it finally told us that which it's fine now but it was not <laughs> i like how it took forever for that to happen oh this is the king daphne one. Oh, grit me okay well i'm gonna command Japanese to go right up there. But I'll keep Link here anyways, because I need him for the last boss, so I may as well keep him up here. Alright, now we're gonna have you kill off these Cordifier Captains. And then this other one will probably go down there or not. Not even needed. Oh yeah, it is, does say southeastern, which means it's right here. Darn it, our troops are already in here. That's annoying because there'll be less troops to fight. That's what makes this so annoying. In case you're wondering why there's hardly any spawns, there's kind of a weird glitch sort of in this game where... Okay, King Daphne's is there, but I still need to take this. 
Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. Just because there's very few enemies in the actual keep itself. My gosh, uh, is this taking forever? Oh, it might be because the Fortifier Captain already got here, but okay, well, I guess that can't be it. It straight up just might have more health then. If so, that's a lot on time just to take a keep. Hopefully that doesn't uh, cost us in terms of either time or uh, being too slow. Because I don't I want to take this next part out before our command, our own commander dies, ideally. Okay, alright, time to take out whoever this is. This is Voga, again. So we get Iconic Duel again. Right. And then we have the Manhandler boss. Uh, this one I think I'm just gonna use magic on if I can. I won't start using magic though until after it actually does stuff. Okay, like that. And then we're gonna magic. So we get more damage overall. Easy. This is such an overpowered uh, focus sphere to use. I call it magic because it does look like a magic pot. It is easier to say though. It te aim technically calls it focus sphere. Alright, simple enough. We got our C chart that we needed and all the items that King Daphne's needs as well. We'll see his animation soon enough once. That's our stuff. Kind of odd that Peace of Heart is his item. I don't know why I just used Magic Break there. That was quite odd that I was able to do that because I wasn't really pressing a magic button. <laughs> Very odd, but whatever. Worked out in the end. Okay, well, that's simple enough. Well, that's an interesting looking uh, item there. Alright, now we can get our Wind Wakers back if we ever need them. But right now, all we need is... Let's see, we need four. And some of them are right in our path anyway, so we could just get those. Beyond that, that's about it. We've gotten about all we can get from this map. So, well, I mean, right now. We'll obviously be getting more, but right now I do want to get other stuff as well. Right, well, that's going to be it for this uh, attempt or whatever of the Great Sea map. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoy it, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!